proclamation of Publoch Meherlin, the provisional government of the Irish Republic for the people of Ireland. Irish men and Irish women, in the name of God and of the dead generations from which she receives her old tradition of nationhood, Ireland, through us, summons her children to her flag and strikes for her freedom. Having organized and trained her manhood through her secret revolutionary organization, the Irish Republican Brotherhood, and through her open military organization, the Irish Volunteers and the Irish Citizens Army, having patiently perfected her discipline, having resolutely, resolutely waited for the right moment to reveal itself, she now seizes that moment. And supported by her exiled children in America, and by gallant allies in Europe, but relying in the first on her own strength, she strikes in full confidence of victory. We declare the right of the people of Ireland to the ownership of Ireland, and to the unfettered control of Irish destinies, to be sovereign and indefeasible. The long usurpation of that right by a foreign people and government has not extinguished the right nor can it ever be extinguished, except by the destruction of the Irish people. In every generation, the Irish people have asserted their right to national freedom and sovereignty. Six times during the past 300 years, they have asserted it in arms. Standing on that fundamental right, and again asserting it in arms, in the face of the world, we hereby proclaim the Irish Republic as a sovereign independent state, and we pledge our lives and the lives of our comrades in Ireland to the cause of its freedom, of its welfare, and of its exaltation among the nations. The Irish Republic is entitled to, and hereby claims, the allegiance of every Irish man and every Irish woman. The Republic guarantees religious and civil liberty, equal rights and equal opportunity to all its citizens, and declares its resolve to pursue the happiness and prosperity of the whole nation and of all its parts, cherishing all the children of the nation equally, and oblivious of the differences carefully fostered by an alien government, which has half divided a minority from the majority in the past. Until our arms have brought the opportune moment for the establishment of a permanent national government, representative of the whole people of Ireland, and elected by the suffrage of all her men and women, the provisional government, hereby constituted, will administer the civil and military affairs of the Republic in trust for the people. We place the cause of the Irish Republic under the protection of the Most High God, whose blessing we invoke upon our arms. And we pray that no one who serves that cause will dishonor it by cowardice, inhum inhumanity, or rapine. In this supreme hour, the Irish nation must, by its valor and discipline, and by the readiness of its children to sacrifice themselves for the common good, prove itself worthy of the august destiny to which it is called. Signed on behalf of the Provisional Government by Thomas J. Clark. Sean McDermott, Thomas McDonough, P. H. Pierce, Eamon Kant, James Connolly, and Joseph Buck.
the heart is the covenant between God and man with all the information and knowledge for his planet Earth and our civilization. And every child of the world is born sovereign. And you interpret it by the first four strings, which is earth, air, fire, and water. Man's intellect and reason, and your five senses. That's nine strings. So we have the sovereign trinity, which is the sovereign sea and the heart. I'll show you the sovereign sea uh, later on, which is Anno Domine 20, uh, 2012 this year, whereas the heart is BC. And the Bible, uh, the Old Testament, or the Quran, could not have been written without that information and knowledge on, on that. And that's where it is. It is all the, it's all the interest, the covenant between God and man with all the information for his planet Earth and our civilization. And the first string is written in Om or in Ogham, which is the first structured language of mankind, and the second is hieroglyphics. And between the two, Tutankhamun, they were the first to have a 12 months calendar. All the civilization is the heart, and that's their heart sign, that's their seed. And the circle is what represents the sun, moon, and planet Earth. And, and the cross star, that's the cross star. You put down your cross star, you take the string, you make your circle. So if all that information, geography, uh, everything is on that that you, that you can see. But important in, in, in the name of the state is era, and I refer to the state which is found here. If you ask all Irish people, when, when is the United uh, States of America, they say the 4th of July, and you ask them, when is Ireland's state? When was that founded? When is our independence day? And nobody can tell you. And that's not a good situation to be in. And the name of the state is ERA. And ERA donates the 32 county mix of 1918 from Bones Hotel that established here on, on, on the 1916 proclamation, which is the foundation document of the state. And Von Rock and Herring, they were ratified at 12 noon. What we are doing today is confirming that again. 93 years old. And then we go to Article 5. Ireland is a sovereign, independent, democratic state. And, and that's where you get. And Article 12 refers to the President. And the Von Rock of Ireland was written for the President of the Irish Republican Brotherhood, whose head of state and holds the 32 county mandate. And that's where that comes from. Um, I'll just read out. It's the 93rd. Anniversary of the Sovereign Republic of Air, the 93rd anniversary of Dáil Éireann, the 93rd anniversary of the Dáil Éireann Corps, the 93rd, the 93rd anniversary of the War of Independence, and a dominant 2012. I, William James McGuire, elevated and turned from this centre, the Mansion House, Dublin, the Sovereign Seal of Dáil Éireann, 12 strings, the Sword of 2012, a Christian symbol and ethos, from the rising sun to the setting sun from north to south and from east to west, and from wrong to right, from evil to good, and from pagan to Christian to sovereign, as in the 1916 proclamation. And I claim sovereignty over all the elements, earth, air, fire, and water, and all therein and thereof, on behalf of the sovereign citizens, and the sovereign republic of era, and its intellect and reason, signed on this day, the 21st of January, Anno Domine, 2012, under the sovereign seal of the sovereign republic of era, William James McGuire, President of the Irish Republican Brotherhood, President of the Sovereign Republic of Era, and Head of State. And this is all the courage we became to, today the our right, which is, is, I'm told, the largest territory now in Europe. Uh, 2012, the 21st of the first 2012, I, William James McGuire, then saw the overall territory, rivers, lakes, seas, fishing, fishing rights, mineral rights, licenses and all assets of the state on behalf of the sovereign citizens and the sovereign republic of era and the Irish Republican Brotherhood signed and sealed on this day the 21st of January uh, 2012 under the sovereign seal of the sovereign republic of era in James Bar. and you will see the seals stamped on them. The seals are actually owned by the Irish Republican Brotherhood. All licenses are only valid from the 21st of January to the 20th of January each year and can only be issued by the, Irish, the President of the Irish Republican Brotherhood. Uh, any license that hasn't got that on it or issued by is not legal, valid, and bona fides. So you can see that. I'll ask John Hassett to read the Declaration of Independence. <coughs>
Declaration of Independence, 1st All-Ireland, Dáil Éireann, January 21, 